What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. You can't make this up. I literally just did a video. I was going to upload it. She went live with this title and I was like, wow. In the video, I actually spoke about this, but I want to start off by saying if you didn't realize, she had said she's going to do karaoke content again. And oh man, every time she gets into these situations where VIBs or someone in her mind speaks out against her. She does this. She tries to create new and different content. She goes back to karaoke and it's just comical to me. So let me start there because that's kind of the most rational picking up point, if you will. If you weren't aware, Missy Moo spoke out against Foodie Chantal basically responded with about an hour and a half live stream. And honestly, none of us have time for this. <laughs> Let me just say that. So, you know, in a nutshell, a lot of people will say that creators do this for attention. They do this for drama. They do this for money. I, I guess the first point I would make is I don't think that Missy Moose channel is monetized. So I I'm not sure that she gets anything from this other than maybe the possibility of getting monetized, maybe the attention, maybe the drama, I don't know. But everyone knows Missy Moo was a longtime supporter of Foodie. Foodie has since tried to run over to TikTok where things have not went well because people are talking about her past. Now, to that point, Foodie is largely to blame for this. If I could tell you and show you the number of instances where she said, I'm done talking about Natter, I'm done talking about, you know, FFG, I'm done talking about BBJ. Yet she continues, even just yesterday, to bring up Natter, right? The only way you're really going to have successful content, Chantal, is if you truly, truly move on. Now, what I mentioned in the prior video was that I actually commended you for going out and purchasing a set of microphones. If you go back and look at what I've told her about her videos, her content, her couples vlogs, a couple things needed to be done. Number one, you need better audio quality. Okay, so she, at least she attempted to do that. She went on and got a microphone. She doesn't understand how they work, but she got them. Number two, you need a gimbal. You need something to stabilize your video. She's saying today she's going to go get a new camera. She's done filming with her phone. And then number three, you need better production quality, right? Transitions, swipes, something better than what you're, what you're doing. Now, to that point, I actually filmed my own Sala and Chantel's couples vlog, and I did it on my phone. For some reason, I don't know why the video weren't, won't convert over. I'm going to try to figure it out. But if I do, I'll put my mock vlog up. But to that point, the fact that she's actively going out and trying to improve these videos is going to be the only thing that actually brings in a new audience. And I think that's what she wants. I think going to TikTok and doing these things is trying to bring in a new audience and work past the people that she believes. Now, this is her belief. You know, we're just there to dislike her or just there to judge her or just this group, this mob mentality. But the reality is this. All people want some accountability. And that goes right back to Missy Moo, right? Missy Moo knows what so many of us do, right? We watched the money you were sent. We watched the income you made. We watched how much you promoted and used these animals as props. Even just yesterday, you know, putting your hamster in an air fryer for a video thumbnail, right? That's using something as a prop. That's not really caring for something as a pet the way someone would. To that point, you and FFG, I think, gets lost in the fact that both had the same opportunities to handle the situation, right? Right. You had additional income for three months. Pete's fully capable, doing nothing, by the way, to take this animal to a vet, to have a mobile vet come out, to find a way to get an animal to a vet. It could have been done, right? It's not Mission Impossible. Nobody was going to make a movie about this never-ending journey of Pete's trying to get BBJ to a vet or a vet trying to come to BBJ. You failed as a pet owner, okay? End of story. The fact of the matter is, Missy Moo is just now seeing this. And justifiably, she's trying to hold you accountable for your actions. Your response has been, and seems to always will be, that everyone is just using a platform to approach you in a way that is less than savory, right? And they're following you, and it's a mob, and woe is me, and look at how these people treat me. No, Chantal, look at how you treated your animal. Look at how even some of your most devoted followers understand what you did was wrong and not only 
are you enabled to move on from this? You continue to talk about it. And as long as you continue to talk about it, whether for you, and that's the point I will make, as I mentioned before, for Chantal, whether you do it for the attention, for the drama, for the actual money, we don't know. But I would argue that sooner or later, people will stop watching this content because it gets repetitive. It gets old. It gets exhausting, right? I know what you did to your animals. I try not to think about it because I know that animal hurt and I know that animal's in a much better place now. You have to take the stance of, I'm moving on with my content. Hopefully, today will be that day. Go get your camera. Figure out your microphones. Get your couple's vlogs together because until you do that, until you start making quality content right recorded quality content that people will find engage with and become a fan of you are never going to move past being foodie beauty on youtube that is an absolute disaster and trying to ruin any credibility or income you have on this platform so you really do need to hammer down today I will say one thing in your chat, Flop Era, absolutely hilarious, because it made me think of what you're going to do. Are you just going to go get a new cell phone? I hope not. Part of me hopes that you're not just going to get a new cell phone. Part of me hopes that you're going to take your paycheck that you're going to get next week, you're going to go down to a store, and you're going to say, listen, I'm a YouTube vlogger, I've got collectively 100,000 subscribers on both channels. I need a semi-professional setup that's easy to use, that I can make beautiful content with. Here's my loving husband, and we're a couples channel, and I've been somehow doing this on my cell phone for the past year. What can you do to help me? I need a gimbal. I need a tripod. I need something to stabilize video. I need a camera that looks professional. I need someone to show me how to use these microphones. I need someone how to train Salah how to use a camera and we're going to actually make content because I have to move on from my past where please don't look me up on YouTube I treated people animals terribly I left my home in an absolute landfill and I've tried to flee all those problems including my taxes by coming to your beautiful country where I'm attempting to do a makeover as a travel couple and vlogging so see if they can overlook all that. See if they can somehow help you out in your process of getting a new camera. But I swear, Chantal, if you come back on here with a new cell phone and say, I got a camera, the whole community that helps you should stand up and resoundingly say, no. Enough of the live streams. And I would actually say enough of the lie streams. They're not even live streams. It's just you there projecting that everyone is wrong about you. When in most cases they're not. Enough speaking out against the people that used to support you when they finally see the truth. Even when they tell you, as Missy Moo did, she was told time and time again what was happening. She refused to believe it. And I will say she also insisted that your marriage was never fake like so many people did. She was in many ways a true supporter that finally had the last straw being how you treated your animals and that is actually what most people saw as the last straw as well get your vlogs together get some actual content up stop doing this eating in a restaurant bit where you go into the bathroom and see what actually happens after a month or two of constantly making content that is drama free visually beautiful you're in an incredible place no more excuses see if you're making money then and if not go back to you know natter bbj ffg all these things but give yourself an opportunity to be successful outside of people that just are watching you because they dislike you love to know your thoughts on this appreciate you watching this video you know i will be back as soon as i can with more content